So in this one, I'm gonna convert a prop into a state. And you can use this throughout your components. This method is sometimes useful, sometimes it's not. By and large, what I have right now for a post detail rendering, this is fine. Using props is fine. You probably won't need to use state. So this is really just about illustrated purposes. This is understanding how this actually works. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanna change this part to being based off of state. So, so something like this, this.state. Now, obviously I can't just change this because we haven't set a post item in our state. So, and I'm also gonna change the name of this variable to something different than the name that's on the prop, right? So this.props, this is still valid. That hasn't changed, right? But I'm gonna change the way I render it based off of state. So I'm gonna make sure that how I render it is also gonna be something different. So I'm gonna call this post item instead. And it's gonna be based off of this.state. So since I changed it inside of that render method, I wanna change it down here and make sure I've got those things going. Great, so this is what we're working towards, but yet I haven't set this item being, being set to anything, right? It doesn't mean anything yet, as our errors are giving us, right? So it's saying, cannot read property title of undefined. Okay, so I need to set a default for this post item, which we've done before. We did this in the constructor. So I'll say post item equals to just, let's just say null, okay? So it's equal to nothing. I'm gonna get that same error, right? It can't read property title of null. What, what, what does this mean exactly? Well, if we look back into our render method, scrolling down here, we're trying to use dot notation. So we're assuming that this is an object and we're trying to use dot notation to grab what that title is. So if I get rid of just dot title, the dot title error is gonna go away, but then it's gonna give me a dot content error, right? Because we have content here. So instead of trying to go through and change all that stuff, what I'm gonna do instead is literally just wrap a condition here and we'll say post item is not equal to null. Then I'll go ahead and have that div come through. Otherwise, I'll just have an empty string. And of course, all of this is gonna have to be wrapped again into a div tag because that's how Angular works. Angular React works. You actually have to have div tags inside of these conditions um, or just some sort of HTML tag to, to, you know, certify that that's what's going on. Okay, so now we've changed it to being based off of state, but we actually haven't set that state yet. So every component has something built into it called component did mount. It has a few others just like this, like component will mount, component did unmount, and component will unmount. There's a few others um, that you might consider playing around with. Check the docs for that. Uh, but in this component in mount, this actual method is called by default and it's called before our render method. So when we go to render out any given component, this method is called. The constructor is called first, then our component in mount will be called and then render. At least as, as it relates to this one in particular. There are other ones that we could have on there. Okay, so this is where I actually wanna set my, my initial state for this item. So we'll say const post equals to this.props. We already know this one because it's in our post list. We have our post right there. That's a prop. There it is. Cool. So now we would just literally say this.set state and we use parentheses just like that. We've seen this before. It's right here. And now it's gonna be post item colon post. It's equal to that prop. Okay, awesome. We save that and what do you know? It's now working. So what I wanna do is just simply change the title of this item and this is we'll show you why that we use state instead. Okay, so we've got this post item and we've got title was clicked, right? So all I'm gonna do here is say this that's set state and I wanna change my post item to something different, right? Well, what do I wanna change it to? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say the const new post item equals to this. So we'll say title equals to this is my awesome new title. And then we'll just content, we'll just leave it as the current state's content. So this.state.postitem.content. Now I can do it off of the current state or I could say this.props.post 
our content. Either way, both of those work. And then I use that, that actual item to set my new item here, All right? So I just changed it to something different and then I reset my state to be based off of that. And it's all gonna be based off of the title was clicked. So I refresh in here, title clicked, this is my awesome new title. Title clicked, this is my awesome new title. So I now was able to manipulate something that was set by a prop by changing it into a state and then doing some stuff with that state. Now, the when you would use this is when you're updating some content or if you need to you know, change, let's say for instance, you wanted to change this title and you had a form in here, you submitted that form, this would be a way to changing it in line, right? Boom, I just changed that form. Um, there's other methods on, on what you could do here, but that's one of them. That's one of those unique things, but it's also known or good to know that you can actually use props and states together in this fashion. Like this is when you would wanna change a prop. So if you ever need to change something inside of a prop, this is the methodology you would do. Now, the last thing is, can we change all of the props? Meaning I changed one item here. Can I actually update the entire list to know that, right? Like, yes, you can do that. And we did this with the data callback. I'm not gonna do that because of how this is set up, but I have this data callback here and I can set this new title. So, or say something about this post. So let's go ahead and just say that, just so we can get an example of this. So we'll just say post item, and we'll go ahead and console log that. And then in this post detail, all I do is pass in this new post item, just like that. So I think all of everything's already rendered in and stuff like that. Um, so we've got default post title is not defined. Um, hmm. Line 19, oh, this right here. Oh, that was um, some offline testing, sorry about that. Okay, so we've got our post list, list there. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all of my other console logs. If I have any other ones, it doesn't look like I do. I have one console log and it should be the post item that I'm now collecting. So I, I or clicking rather. I click on the title, it changes, the title changes, and here's that new post item in there. So that means that this would then allow me to change the prop. Uh, but unfortunately the prop is based off of some JSON data. So I'm not really gonna go through the, the complex nature of doing that, but instead just realize that if I did change this, I could then eventually change it to something down here. Okay, so I actually will do that in the next video. I will show you guys how I would achieve that specific thing in just a moment. So make sure you subscribe to get everything and I look forward to seeing you next time.